On me, Conway. So, what'd you think? Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, right? Ah, uh, here comes the cavalry. Shit, looks like I missed one. Tell you what, you go get it working, I'll get things set up here. Copy. Should do it. Copy. All right, everyone, gather around. See some targets? Really? Sorry, they're all we've got on hand. All right, first things first. I'm Staff Sergeant Adams. This is Sergeant Conway. We'll be your cabin crew for today. Cabin crew? Since I'm fairly confident we all know why we're here, I'll skip the usual brief. So, over to you, Sergeant. When you're ready, put some rounds downrange. You'll notice that the Sergeant took a knee before firing, which creates a more stable firing position. Try to do this as much as possible. If he'd remained standing, he'd have had a tougher time compensating for recoil. It's not impossible, but it's also not ideal. Going prone offers the best stationary shooting posture with the least recoil and smallest profile. However, be careful of grass and other obstacles obstructing your view. Engaging targets at greater distances is a bit more complicated. Collimator sights like the sergeant here is using, are not well suited to the task. Sergeant, go ahead and grab the RCO from the crate. From now on, I'll be giving directions to the sergeant exclusively in compass bearings, so please pay attention. I'll call out specific targets for the sergeant to engage. It's up to him to pick them out and score a hit. Are you ready, sergeant? As I'll ever be. All right, first target. Helicopters. Well, speaking of CSAT. Pay attention, children. 300 meters, bearing 330. That's 300 meters away from you at bearing 330, Sergeant. <laughs> 100 meters, bearing 290. Remember, control your breathing. Aim for clean, focused shots. 400 meters, bearing 307. Great, let's move on. While we're on the subject, you're going to find it much harder to control your breathing on the battlefield. Sergeant... Don't, don't... even say it. Your adoring public awaits. God damn it. Fuck you, Staff Sergeant. However, his completely 
spontaneous and totally unplanned marathon conveniently brings us to our next lesson, fatigue. It can and it will be your worst nightmare in the field, should you fail to regulate it effectively. Push yourself too hard and you'll find yourself unable to hit shit, even when the situation requires otherwise. And hell, if that's not enough for you, you'll just grow to hate the sound of your own wheezing. Floor's all yours, Sergeant. See? Now the Sergeant has to battle himself as he fires. Again, you need to control your stamina. If you don't, you'll have a hard time hitting anything at all. That'll do, Sergeant. That'll do. American, please. I need to speak with you. There has been an incident. Over. What do you mean, incident? Send us your grid. Over. We cannot do that. Say again. Why not? Over. We do not have a map. GPS? Um, negative. Copy. Wait one. It's always something with these people. All right, change of plans. Everyone, gather around the sergeant. Come on, don't be shy now. We're gonna learn something useful. Bring up your map, Conway. Okay, here's the deal. Since your people are completely incapable of intelligent thought, it has fallen upon us to rescue them from certain doom. Before we begin, Sergeant, if you'd be so kind, stick a marker on our location 066159er. For those just tuning in, six-figure grids are a crucial navigational tool. Coordinates are read from the bottom first, followed by the ones that run up the side. Conway. Zero six six one five niner. Right there, Conway, for God's sake. We're gonna attempt to triangulate their position. However, before we get onto that, you guys still there? Yes. We need some landmarks to go off here. Do you have anything we could use? Did you spot anything recognizable en route to your location? Over? Well, we know that we are west of Sirta. We drove through it. Okay, that's one. Hold on. Come on, Sergeant, keep your map out. All right, Sergeant, stick a marker on Sirta. It should be about three clicks to the northeast. Clicks? Three kilometers, in other words. Sirta, Sergeant, three clicks to the northeast. Conway, Sirta, big letters, mark it. Now, let's draw a line going west from Sirta. Can you guys give us any other landmarks? There is a hill nearby. It has a small chapel on top of it. It is at bearing 130 from our position. Over. Copy. Wait one. 
That's probably somewhere southwest of Sirta itself. Think you can locate it, Sergeant? A hill with a chapel, Sergeant, southwest of Sirta. That's probably it, right there. All right, the bearing they gave us was 130. However, that's from them to the chapel. We want to work out the bearing from the chapel to their position. So let's do a 180. That makes it 310 from the chapel itself. You'll notice the lines intersect. That, in a nutshell, is all we're looking for. It tells us that, if the information they provided is accurate, they must be somewhere near there. However, the intersect won't always be exact. Use common sense to enhance your accuracy, or try to obtain further information. Over to you, Sergeant. Stick a marker on their position. Hold on. Are you guys around some buildings, or are you out in the middle of nowhere? We're in a small settlement, just off the main road. So you have another road leading to you? Yes, a dirt track. It took us northeast from the main road itself. Copy. Yep, that looks about right. We've got your grid, 075183. We're on our way. Stay put. Out. American, what is your status? We've got your grid, 075183. We're on our way. Stay put. Out. Okay, we're going to go find your friends. Keep yourselves busy while we're gone. The rest of you, load up. Conway, you're driving.
What the hell happened here? We were on patrol. We were attacked. Patrol, huh? Yes. And these people? They attacked you? Yes. Was I unclear? You ever heard of excessive force? Good, Sergeant. Staff Sergeant, they're just civilians. Did you sweep the buildings? And what's the deal with that man over there? Yes, we did. They are clean. You searched all of them? Including the ones down there? No, only these ones. And that man? Do you have medical support inbound? No. Uh, no. Are you kidding me? Sergeant, search those buildings down there. The rest of you, set up a perimeter. And you, call for a goddamn medevac. Now! Small one's clear. Continuing the search. Story clear, moving on. Adams, I've got a weapon stash here. Small arms and explosives. Definitely gorilla. Over. You see? They were a threat. Yeah, and I'm sure they just attacked you for no reason. Copy, Sergeant. Form on me. Status? You didn't make it. Damn it. I let Broadway know what's going on. We've been ordered back to base. I've told these idiots to clean up the mess. They'll handle the weapons. Can't help but think the gorillas won't take too kindly. All right, everyone, pound up. We're out of here. 